Guys, finally, the One UI 4.1 update is now rolling out for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And in this video, I am going to show you the top 10 features the One UI 4.1 update brings to this phone. And I am super excited to make this video because quite a few new features have made their way from the new S22 series down to the Note 20 Ultra. So let's keep the intro short and let's begin. So smart widgets have made their way from the S22 series onto the Note 20 Ultra. And this feature allows you to combine two or more widgets into a single widget. And you can swipe left and right to see all of the widgets that are combined onto a single one. And this kind of allows you to save space on the home screen. Now to add a smart widget on the home screen, pinch in and then tap on widgets. Then expand the smart widget panel and pick one from over here. For demonstration, let's add this to our home screen. So here's the thing, before you can start using the widget, you actually have to configure it. So long press and then tap on settings. From here, you can add more widgets by tapping on the plus button and selecting one from this list. Or remove the widget modules by long pressing one of these. You can even change their order. And lastly, you can also configure individual widgets by tapping each one of these. So yeah, these are the new smart widgets and they allow you to combine multiple widgets into a single one. And this way you can save a lot of space and reduce clutter on the home screen. You can now blur the background in any photo which has got a face in it. And this new feature is called portrait effect. So in the gallery, open a photo which has got a face in it and then tap on these three dots and you will see a new feature which says add portrait effect. And using this feature, you can give the photo that DSLR-like background blur. Looks awesome, right? Now, there is another feature in the gallery which turns scenic photos into a 24-hour time-lapse video. It's mentioned here in the One UI 4.1 changelog. So it says, turn a picture into a vivid 24-hour time-lapse video. A button will appear for pictures of scenery, including sky, etc, etc. But the problem is, this feature does not work on the Note 20 Ultra. So let me demonstrate. So here I've got my S21 Plus and check this out. We've got the same photo open on both of these devices and the S21 Plus shows a little icon. And if I tap on this icon, the phone will turn the photo into a 24 hour time lapse video, which kind of looks cool. I hope they fix this in the next update because I really like this. So while browsing a web page, you find something interesting that you want to take a note of. So here is something that's new. If you select the text on a web page, the phone will give you a new option which says add to note. And if you tap this, the phone will paste the selected text in Samsung Notes with a link to the web page from where the text is from. Awesome, right? This is actually a very useful feature for jotting down stuff from the internet. Now keep in mind this feature only works with Samsung internet and not Google Chrome. I really hope Samsung makes this feature compatible with Google Chrome because this feature is extremely useful and I find myself using it quite often. Now on the home screen, if we pinch in, then go to wallpaper and style, then color palette, you will notice that this section has been redesigned. So the color palette allows you to change the phone's theme according to the colors in the wallpaper. So the thing is, it is the exact same thing, but it's been redesigned and now it looks a lot better than it used to. But the functionality is exactly the same. So now let's go to the settings and scroll down to the advanced features. And inside here, if you scroll down, you will see a new feature called smart suggestions. And this feature will suggest you certain actions based on what you are doing. Let me give you an example. Alright, so you can see there is a text message here and it's got a date for someone's birthday party. Now, we can tap on the date and add this event to our calendar directly from the messaging app itself. There is no need to manually enter the dates, the phone will do it for you. Quite amazing, right? And this is just a small example, this also works in Samsung Keyboard, Smart Widgets, Reminder and also the calendar. Okay, so now let's go into the accessibility settings. So let's get back out of here, scroll down and tap on accessibility, then tap on hearing enhancements. And if you scroll down, you will notice a new option which allows you to adjust the audio balance for the connected device, such as if you have a Bluetooth headset connected. 
So you guys might be familiar with a feature called RAM Plus. It kind of allows you to use a part of the internal storage as virtual RAM. So let's drop down the notification panel and go to settings, then scroll down to battery and device here, and then tap on memory. So One UI 4.1 allows you to pick how much virtual memory you want. You can pick from 2 gigabytes all the way up to 8 gigabytes. In my opinion, this feature is a little bit gimmicky and pointless for a phone like the Note 20 Ultra since this phone already has 12 gigabytes of RAM. But lower end smartphones will definitely benefit from this. This update also brings a new feature that allows you to share the Wi-Fi password over QuickShare. So let's go into the Wi-Fi settings, tap on the gear icon for the wireless network that we are connected to, and then press on the QR code button. And here you will see a new option which allows you to share the Wi-Fi password and the name over QuickShare. And obviously for this to work you need another Samsung phone because QuickShare works only on Samsung devices. So all you have to do is press the QuickShare button then grab another Samsung phone and receive the Wi-Fi settings. And the other phone will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi network that we have just shared. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, and this update also includes that new game optimization service and this should fix the performance issues with third-party applications. The app throttling issue should be fixed after this update. And if you are wondering, you can access the game optimization settings from the game launcher. So open game launcher, tap on more and then game booster. Inside the game booster settings, you will see a new option called labs. So here they have added a new feature called Alternate Game Performance Management. So this is an experimental game performance management system and this may improve the game performance if you decide to turn this on. The camera has also got a couple of new features. Looks like they have added night shots for the portrait mode. So in the camera, if you head on over to the portrait mode, apparently this mode now takes better photos in low light. The night mode should activate by itself in low light conditions. So there you go, you can see that moon icon. The AR emoji camera has also seen an update. So let's go back and go into the AR zone and then AR emoji camera. So in AR emoji, you now get the option to change the background in the mask mode. Previously, this option was only available in the scene mode. And now you've got this in the mask mode. So that is a nice addition. So let's go back into the AR zone and launch the AR emoji sticker creator. So this thing also has seen a little update. So now if you edit your sticker, you will be able to add animated GIFs from the Tenor service. You know what, I think we already had this option on One UI 4, but they have specifically mentioned this change in the change log. So yeah, must be new. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much all there is to it guys. There are some extra features available, but I think I have covered the main highlights of One UI 4.1. And yes, I have double checked, there is really nothing new when it comes to the S Pen. All of the features are exactly the same as they used to be. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video to be helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.